Hello. Um, this is a solo video. Uh, I want to talk about some things. Uh, a bit of a schedule change, I guess. Uh, so, yesterday I started to review the Dragon Ball movies. I only did one, and I meant to do another one, at least another one yesterday, but I didn't have time. See, I started to tidy up. I'm still working on cleaning up my apartment so I can do the walkthrough. It's been a slow process, as you could tell. I think I announced it like two weeks ago. Um, but yesterday I had to work, you, you know, I start, I, I did all those, um, countdown videos, I mean, the, the best, the, the favorite Adam Sandler, favorite comedy movies, favorite TV shows, favorite sitcoms, favorite, you know, horror shows, and that resulted in a big pile of DVDs just in my bedroom slash office, which is my bedroom, the sanctum, whatever, it just like, all over, over here, stacks up, what you couldn't see, and I still got some, is that, here, look, still can't see it, okay, hold on, it's stacked there, and there's a stack here, but I had, like, a couple stacks on each side, just a movie stacked up in some pile next to here that you couldn't see, and... I had a big pile of stuff in, next to the kitchen table. It was just... So I needed to take a day. I still got to clean more, so I'll be doing that today. But I want to kind of continue my reviews. But there's a little snag. So yesterday I did the trailer reaction for Dark... Dark... New Mutants. And it made me realize that comes out in April. I need to do reviews... For the X-Men franchise before that comes out. So I could do the whole ranking. And then I thought about it. And I thought. Oh. Fast and the Furious 9 comes out this year. I need to do reviews for those. So I'm like. I picked the wrong time. To start a franchise. A random franchise like this. Living on this. It wouldn't go away. So, what I'm going to do for the first time ever, I mean, I've alternated, like, during, during Halloween, Halloween Horror Month, I did my ranking stuff and the horror, fran horror stuff, like, I did the Halloween franchise, plus the ones for my ranking, and some random ones, and then in December, I did Christmas movies, plus I had the Nightmare on Elm Street ones, and then I had some other regular movies I was doing, too, so... This time, though, it's going to be, like, three different franchises next to each other. Dragon Ball, Fast and the Furious, and X-Men. I'm not sure which one I want to do. Like, I'm kind of leaning towards Fast and the Furious because I got it on my Voodoo, so I can just pop it on here and watch it that way while I'm doing cleaning the kitchen, doing dishes and stuff. So I need to get that done. You know, tomorrow I'm going to do my laundry and stuff and get that. So I probably, the walkthrough will probably be Thursday. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to wait to do the walkthrough because I'm going to try to get this Friday when I get paid. I'm going to try to get a couple of different posters to put there and one for the closet over here. Let me show you. See the closet over there? Closet right there. Uh, except for the town, I don't think any of those DVD sets are going to stay there. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to decorate that. At the moment, and I don't know if those popcorn tins are gonna stay there. I'm trying to figure out where to put them, but yeah, for now they're just sitting there next to the picture of my child, which <clears throat> which is uh yeah, that's just the and the toolbox has got to go somewhere else too. That's just sitting there. That's usually my overflow area when I'm doing countdowns and stuff. I have way too many DVDs to put over there. I had some. But I'll, I'll take you through that once I get everything situated. But it might be a while. But I want to do... So probably next week sometime is the walkthrough. So, yeah. Um. So, yeah, there's that little announcement. The, uh... I'll be doing three different franchises. Dragon Ball, Fast and Furious, and X-Men. 
at the relatively the same time. It would probably be like, let's say we do it this way. One Dragon Ball, one Fast, one X-Men. And then back to Dragon Ball, the Fast Furious and X-Men. Just do it like that. <clears throat> kind of like what I was doing with the Batman and Ninja Turtle ones at the time. Which I still got to be members of Teen Ninja Turtles, but... I don't know, I'm just kind of... A little frustrated with this situation. I put myself in this situation, but I didn't realize I did it. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do a fun little gag. Kayfabe here. Breaking kayfabe, breaking the fourth wall. I'll do a little gag with this where I stack it in every countdown, and then finally I'll just review it. And I realized I have two of franchises I need to review before their movies come out this year. So I kind of screwed the pooch on that. But, uh, yeah. And, uh, not much else to say, really. <clears throat> okay, I gotta end the video because I got nothing else to say. So, uh, yeah, that's my little announcement and stuff. Um... Oh, uh, I did those countdowns, there's the top ten lists. I still got one more list to do, really. And that's, uh, I'm gonna, my, my favorite movie from each year I've been alive. So from 1987 to 2019. Can't do one for this year yet, we're not at the end of the year. You know, I, um... I haven't seen any movies come out this year yet. Uh, the Grudge comes out. Here's an interesting tidbit. I uh, The movie theater here in town, I, my, my, uh, I'm on a janitorial crew that cleans the theater. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays we go there. Um, the other crew does it other days. But um, we went there, and they, we had, they had this door. You open the door, there's a list of movies there, and then in there you push the button to turn all the lights on. On the list, they list The Grudge as being PG-13. So I'm sitting there thinking, they're going to get in trouble because they have it listed as PG-13. It's a rated R film. So they're letting people age ages 17 to 13 into a rated R film. Or 16 to 13, because 17, it'd be 17, I think, to see rated R movies, I think. I don't know. But under the age of 18, to be allowed to go see rated R movies. So I'm freaking out, right? I'm like, they gotta stay. You know, because they're gonna get in trouble. Well, then I, you know, I looked on their website. And it's down as rated R. So I don't know, somebody who typed up that list typed it wrong. Because all the other Grudge movies, except for three, were rated PG-13. The third one was rated R. It was, it was unrated. It was a rated R, originally, I believe. So... Yeah, that's a little tidbit for you, though. But yeah, other than that, I don't got anything. I'll be doing my, you know, like I said, my favorite of your year I was born. 1987 and 2019. And it'll be non-horror films, because then I'm going to do one, and that one's going to be trickier. Horror films that I've, my favorite horror films from each year I've been alive. So, yeah, that one's going to probably be hard to put together, but... I'll do it. I already actually had the list up. But, um, seeing as I just put... No, wait a minute. Yeah, seeing as I just put all my Blu-rays and DVDs away, except for this couple stacks here, um, and the stuff that's on the bed, I still still gotta figure out where to put it, but, um, I'm gonna wait. Because, uh, you know how I do it. I pop out a movie... And I say, here, this is the, I just realized I put, that one should stay out. And, well, that one's in my film. We'll get to it, but I'm thrown on too long. Okay? So, what I want, okay, so, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, just stuff to look forward to. I'll see you.